Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. For all of you out there that are following consciousness or becoming conscious and awaken, I want you to understand something. We have a collective, we have the 70 and we have the 12, right? And if you don't know what that is, then you go and you look at the Bible because it's not just religion. Uh, the religion should take you into a place where you understand the spirit of truth. So John 10 and 27, for those that are leaders and those that are counseling, coaching, um, they have to understand their selves. Um, if you're consulting, you have to understand yourself. Anything that you do to help others, you need to understand yourself. And so until a person is able to follow the voice of God within them, they will always follow a voice outside of them. Here is what John 10 and 27 says. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. We have a better opportunity now than ever or even the early fathers because we are supposed to have the Holy Spirit in us. This is um, an understanding. But what Jesus is saying is they, his sheep follows him. And the only voice that Jesus heard was the voice of God within himself. So if you're following a voice outside of yourself, it could be for your preparation for a time and season. That voice may not be conducive for you to follow forever. A lot of people are having trouble with um, family, friends, um, business, uh, situations, their profession, um, social gatherings, because they have been around people that gave them sound advice for ever so long. But there is a time, sound advice, guidance, and coaching. Yes, let me add that. But there is a time in our lives where that teacher or teaching may not be uh, necessary for the season that we're going into. What, what that means is, is that if we're not prepared to truly hear the voice of the Lord, my sheep hear my voice, John 10 and 27, we will follow the stranger. And the stranger will take us into places that is not conducive for our journey. So when we look at sheep, you know, when you study them, what you'll find is it's that sheep is not the smartest um, animal that there is. They follow a sheep herder, which means that they're in a herd. You can think about cows are herded. You know, you can think about other animals that are herded and understand that there comes a time when you may not fit in the herd. Now, fitting into the herd, people won't realize that it's a time to break away from the herd and actually begin to hear the voice of God within them. But it's important because the promise of your future is connected to you being able to hear, to see, to understand what you really want for your life. So you have a time and season with your family, to learn the things that you need to learn. You have a time and season in, you know, grade school, elementary school, high school, college. All of these times are preparation to get um, us prepared as individuals. Individuals that are able to make decisions for ourselves, healthy decisions. And this is a part of counseling, coaching, um, advising and guidance. I think that when I look back, what I find is, is that there is a lot of us that didn't have those things that I just spoke of. And so if we could get people back on track through um, advising them to get mental health if they need it, ment mental health care if they need it, uh, coaching, uh, consulting for their businesses, consulting um, in any manner, coaching is personal. It can be, um, for your profession, for your job, 
mental health is simply talking to someone where you have anxiety, fear, or worry, and or depression, so it doesn't perpetuate and become um, more of a problem. Like people don't understand that mental health itself can turn into a complex condition because you've carried um, anxiety so long without knowing how to release it. Something so simple as talking to someone to get um, inner emotions out of you that have been a problem. So subscribe and share, and I will talk to you again about this and be blessed. Bye-bye.